Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. Indeed, I know where I am. I know who's here. There are many who will listen to this later. I'm talking about those in the room now. Some of you are profoundly aware of the energy I bring. I would like to tell you about that energy. And I also want to tell you about you. For years we have been doing this. And for years I have told you that from this stage there is no energy projected. There is an invitation that you feel, profoundly feel, to reconnect with the source of all. And that source is exactly what brought you here, what has created the planet, what is in your heart, in your soul. And the reconnection with that source brings you to an esoteric place that has been known on this planet forever. Some you see are in euphoria in the past and they've called it prayer, meditation, where you can see inside them, they have discovered the connection to the beauty of everything. That's the invitation that sits in the chair right now. And it's brought to you through my partner's voice and also that which is the third language, a metaphor for an energy that is transmitted, that is slight, an invitation, a whisper that says, I want you to remember, I want you to remember something profound for all of you, who you are. And that is often totally ignored or forgotten or unrealized. The who you are part. We're going to talk about that later. But I want this particular message to concentrate on one thing. The appropriateness of you. I know who's here. I'll tell you right now of the hundreds of you here, at least 200. I know the paths of all of you because you are connected to the same source I am. I know what you've gone through because your soul is connected to the same source that I am. I know the trials that you have been through I know when you cry alone and you don't, you know, not really. I know when you are laughing so hard, <laughs> it's beautiful because you're connected to the source. I know of the situations that you deal with right now. I know some of the sorrow that you have come with, I know who's here. I know the frustrations that are in the chair because all of those are not alone with you. They're shared with your soul, shared with the Creator, the same source as we all come from. Did you realize the largeness of the plan that is here. Question, are you here by accident? Well, you've heard the answer from those who teach esoterics. Well, of course not. There's always a plan. 
Oh, but dear ones, I know the argument to that. As you sit there and you will say, well, the world around me seems different. Uncomfortable, a little. Uncertain. I'm uncertain because things are not the way they were. My body feels different. My friends feel different. The relationships I may have had with my partners feels different. What's happening? In certain ways, it seems like we are, we are slipping backwards into an older, fearful time. I watch the media. It's not comfortable. I'm feeling different. Is this really the way it should be? So let me take you on a journey. This is going to sound fantastic unbelievable if you haven't heard it before how old is your soul your soul is unique this soul that you have it actually has an energetic name oddly enough that name is associated with both light and music when you're not here vibration can you imagine a place where light and music are the same vibration, where you can hear light, where the sonorities of the best musical presentation can be displayed in light that you can hear? Can you imagine seeing your name in that light wherever you go? That's you on the other side of the veil. Oh, dear human being. Humanity itself is temporary. Your soul is forever. It always has been. It always will be. And that's what's inside you now. Let's go back. I'd like to tell you something. Before this earth was cooled, you were somewhere else working this same puzzle. You are a very old soul. I'm speaking to those in front of me in this place. And some of you intuitively feel it and some of you don't. But I'll tell you this, this experience of learning energy that is different has been done before by you the galaxy is quite old the earth is quite young your soul was in this galaxy doing these kinds of things in a body similar to yours now millions of years ago millions this is what you do Some have said, cry and why are you so in love with humanity? I'm in love with the souls called human at the moment. Because I see the profound things that you have already done in other places, other planets, in this galaxy. Let me tell you something. Even before this earth was cooled, there was a projection with free choice. Humanity on this planet might make a choice to change light. What was the prophecy when you were born? Doom, indeed. World war, indeed. You were on your way to doing what four other civilizations had done on this planet, on other planets. An almost total self-destruction and a start over. That was your prophecy. Even in your sacred places, in the buildings that you would go to for prayer, they would speak of scripture that said, it's the end, you know. 
Everything will change, you know. Even they had it. You look at your current films, even they had it. No one expected you to be here in 2018. No one. You have no prophecy. There's no scripture talking about anything past the year 2000, much less 2012. Do you realize that? There's no prophecy about you right now, except one. The Mayans gave it to you. And the indigenous all over the planet saw it in the stars. They realized the precession of the equinox would be the end of the beginning of the planet. And you were headed toward that. Now let me ask you, old, old, old soul. If this planet was going to turn it around. And this planet was going to go into light. There would be a gathering in the sky of souls all over this galaxy that said this planet of free choice called earth is going to do it who wants to be there <laughs> and the ones who raised their hand said i'll go because i've done it before i know what to expect i'll cut through the fear i'll cut through all those things that I don't understand as a human and inside esoterically I'll know that I am part of a shift of light that has only happened a few other times in the galaxy in the history of the universe because I'm a specialist in light that's who you are every single one of you in the chair is not just here on purpose you're here because you raised your hand because you're a specialist and these are the things that will start occurring to you how do I extend my life I'm gonna tell you tonight how do I clear myself so I can be an example and show more light how do I send light to difficult places how do I then change the planet simply from my house <laughs> because you've done it before you're not just here on purpose you're here by design by design and some of you will say I don't know cry out I like the words but it certainly doesn't feel like it let me tell you something dear ones feeling like it is right in your lap in other words that's your choice to feel like it or not to stand up in the light instead of the dark we'll talk about that we have talked about that and how you see yourself and the habits that you have we'll discuss that a little later dear ones you can change your surroundings how you're perceived, how you think about things, how your body reacts to things. How would some of you like to look disease in the face and laugh? Because it can't be there anymore. Because you're going to start raising a vibration that's higher than you've ever had. Now I'm speaking to three people in this audience. Do you hear me? That's why you came to sit here. For me to speak to you. To tell you that God knows your name in light. You're not here to suffer. I want you to sit and feel comfortable, old soul, that you're far older than the planet, that you deserve to be here, and that there is work to be done that is starting to occur to you, and the work is within you. Light attracts light. We've told you this before. Light chases away darkness. We've told you that before. These are metaphors, but they really are true. A human being who stands with darkness around them attracts nothing but darkness. A 
human being who climbs out of the hole of darkness and starts to ask for light will be given light that's the promise and you will start seeing it and believing it by how you feel and what happens to your body you are eternal you really are your soul will go on long after you're gone as a human waiting perhaps even for the next planet of free choice and by the way it's there waiting that's what you do but these times right now during this shift are the most exciting going from an old energy to a new energy is uncomfortable because you have a mantle that you grew up with which is darkness that's being shed and cast away until you can come full circle into the light just as you have done before this is who you are are you here on purpose with everything happening in this planet like it is oh yes I close with this I challenge you go ahead and watch the news go ahead and and see something very very dramatic and uh, and the announcer will will make it even worse <laughs> and I dare you to smile and laugh and say yeah I've seen this before just wait just wait because at some level you have foreknowledge because you've done it before been there before just like watching children scramble around not knowing what's going to happen next you do stand tall in the light dear human beings for that is why you were born at this time to be here now we're crying look at how old I am <laughs> we're gonna talk about how old you are a little later that's enough for now I really do know who's here and that is why I'm so in love with all of you because I really know what you've done there would be few on this platform or any other on this earth who would know who you really were oh I am crying of magnetic service I know who you are and so it is